Hi friends, happy to see you here. I am Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication and research on this channel. Unlike traditional research, in grounded theory, we try to construct or discover theories through collection and analysis of data. Let us see grounded theory explained mastering qualitative research in this video. There are three very important steps in grounded theory coding, memo writing, and theoretical sampling. The grounded theory method is more appropriate when little is known about a phenomena. One of the main aims of the grounded theory is generate theory that is grounded in the data. Grounded theory is a research methodology that was first developed in the 1960s by sociologists Barney Glazer and Ansem Strauss. They argued that traditional research methods which involved testing pre-existing hypotheses were not well suited to generating new theory. They proposed a new method, grounded theory, which involved collecting and analyzing data simultaneously in order to generate theory that is grounded in the data. They also developed the constant comparative method which is a process of comparing data as it is collected and analyzed in order to identify patterns and themes. In the 1970s and 1980s, Glaser and Strauss continued to develop and refine their approach to grounded theory. While Glaser emphasized the importance of generating a theory that is grounded in the data, Strauss emphasized the role of the researcher in shaping the research process and the theory. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in constructivist and interpretive grounded theory. The grounded theory research method begins with the simultaneous collection and analysis of data. This is followed by creation of analytic codes and categories developed from data and not by pre-existing conceptualizations. This is known as theoretical sensitivity. This is followed by discovery of basic social processes in the data. The most important element in the process is the inductive construction of abstract categories from the given data. This is followed by theoretical sampling to refine categories. Writing analytical memos is the stage between coding and writing. Finally, the categories are integrated into a theoretical framework. The grounded theory process starts with purposive sampling. Researchers purposively select participants and all data sources. Then we collect data. Data could be from surveys, interviews, focus groups or other data. This is followed by initial coding. Initially it could be coding and category identification. This is followed by intermediate coding where we select code categories and saturate the data. Finally, we go for advanced coding which involves storyline and theoretical coding. This entire process is not linear. As we can see, it involves iterations. There are repetitions of the same things again and again. Process of advanced coding, intermediate coding and initial coding can go back to generating new data depending on the theoretical sampling and this goes on simultaneously. The process of doing a grounded theory research study is not linear. It is iterative and recursive. The data collection methods include in-depth interviews. It relies on open-ended questions and questions can be modified to reflect emerging theory. It also includes observational methods, surveys and focus group discussions and at times textual artifacts too. 
initial purposive sampling directs the collection and generation of data. Researchers purposively select participants and data sources that can answer the research question. The researcher collects, codes and analyzes this initial data before further data collection is undertaken. Purposeful sampling provides the initial data. Constant comparative analysis generates increasingly more abstract concepts and theories through inductive processes. In addition, abduction, which is defined as a form of reasoning that begins with an examination of the data and the formation of a number of hypotheses that are then proved or disproved during the process of analysis. This aids inductive conceptualization. Memo writing is a crucial process in this method. Memos prompt researchers to analyze and code data and develop codes into categories early in the coding process. Memos detail why and how decisions are made on sampling, coding, collapsing of codes, making of new codes, separating codes, producing a category and identifying relationships and higher level of analysis. Glazer and Strauss originally described two levels of coding. First, into as many categories as possible and then integration of categories to theories. Later, Strauss expanded it to three levels of coding. Firstly, open coding, which is the process of breaking down data into smaller units of meaning and categorizing those units. The researcher looks for patterns and relationships between the codes. This is followed by axial coding, which is the process of linking the codes identified through the open coding process. And it creates higher level categories and concepts. We have the selective coding, which is the process of identifying the core category, which is the central concept that ties all the other categories together. This is used to organize the rest of the theory and to develop a theoretical framework. During the advanced coding phase, concepts that reach the stage of categories will be abstract, representing stories of many reduced, highly conceptual terms. The findings are presented as a set of interrelated concepts uh, as opposed to themes. Advanced coding is used to facilitate integration of the final grounded theory. The purpose of theoretical sampling is the development of a theoretical category which is different from sampling for population representation. It allows the researcher to follow leads in the data by sampling new participants or material that provides relevant information. This is used to focus and generate data to feed the continual comparative analysis of the data. As the researcher analyzes the data, they will identify key concepts and categories and use these to guide the selection of additional participants or data for analysis. This process is repeated until the researcher reaches theoretical saturation, meaning that no new concepts or categories are emerging from the data and the theory is well developed. Theoretical coding integrates and synthesizes the categories derived from the coding and analysis to now create a theory. Storyline is a tool used for theoretical integration. The storyline is the conceptualization of the core category. It enhances the development, presentation and comprehension of the outcomes of grounded theory research. Theoretical sensitivity is the insight into what is meaningful and of significance in the data for theory development. Conducting grounded theory research requires a balance between keeping an open mind and the ability to identify elements of theoretical significance during data generation and collection and data analysis. 
to achieve theoretical sensitivity the researcher must begin with as few predetermined ideas particularly hypothesis as possible so he or she can be as sensitive to the data as possible literature can be used as data and constantly compared with the emerging categories to be integrated in the theory theoretical saturation is the point at which the analysis cycle can conclude grounded theory has several distinct methodological genres we have the traditional grounded theory which is associated with glaser then we have the evolved grounded theory which is associated with strauss and corbin and constructivist grounded theory associated with kt charmas according to glaser categories and concluding theories should emerge from the data rather than being assumed or prescribed based on pre-existing ideas Strauss and Corbin believe grounded theories roots lie in symbolic interactionism. Individuals are self-aware, able to see themselves from the perspective of others and therefore adapt their behavior according to the situation. It recognizes that a researcher cannot be fully blind or ignorant to prior literature on their area of study. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it was a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.